Hello everybody, so I'm William from Ultimate Exposure. If you guys have been following us on social media, you know that we are up in Alaska right now. We are planning on biking from Alaska all the way down to Argentina. Uh, so we've already done the Prudhoe Bay down to Fairbanks Park. So approximately about 500 miles. Uh, in these 500 miles, we've had people asking us about some of our gear, trailers we're using, and whatnot. So today we decided we're gonna do a review on our Burley trailer. Uh, it's the Burley Ranger XL. It's the one made for pets. It's the biggest trailer they make for uh, dogs, cats, whatever you want to put in it. And uh, so we're going to do a review about that. So we're going to go over the pros, the cons, uh, the basic features of this, and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, I guess we'll start off the features right now. Uh, this is again the Burley uh, Ranger XL. They make a large version. Uh, this one will hold up to 100 pounds, 22 inches wide, 36 inches long. Uh, our dog's really big and uh, so so yeah, so that's kind of the dimensions. It comes with 20 inch wheels. It is quick release, so it's super cool that it has the quick release wheels on it. It also has a brake lever, so our dog hates getting into this trailer when it starts to move around, so it's really nice. So when the brake's on, as you see, it's, it's pretty sturdy, um, but she doesn't like getting in when it rolls. It makes her feel uncomfortable. So super happy that it has the brake lever. It also has on the latch where you can actually lay your bike over. So if you have bikes like we're riding, we have a, a Checkpoint SL7, so it's a full carbon bike, so we can't really put kickstands on it. So it's nice that if we don't have anything to lean the bike against, we can lay the bikes over and it doesn't flip the trailer over as well. Uh, you, it comes with a handle that you can push along as a stroller feature. We didn't bring the handle because we don't plan on pushing it anywhere, so we just left that at home. Uh, it has this cool little wheel that just basically uh, folds up and down. So when you're when you're uh, pulling it, you just fold it up. I kind of wish it would just come off again because we don't really need it at this point. So I wish it would just come off really easy, but it doesn't. Um, it ha comes with these little reflectors, uh, front reflectors, back reflectors. It also came with this little red tail light. Well, that thing's gone. Uh, it flew off, um, vibrated loose down the trail. Uh, it has, yeah, so that's, that's kind of the features of it. So now let's go through the pros and cons. Again, we've gone 500 miles. We've gone through snow. We've gone through gravel. We've gone through mud, sleet, rain. Uh, the things held up pretty good, but one of the, the we're going to go through the negatives first. Um, when we first got the trailer, we noticed that on the bottom, there was only one support bar for the floor. And we're assuming because most dogs sit back, so all the way over the axle, just like on any trailer. Uh, but the floor itself isn't very sturdy. So we add it. I welded in a new aluminum bar here up front so that way the floor had a little bit more sturdy so um so that was one negative that we didn't like because our dog sits all the way forward likes to stand there so more weight ends up here um the other negative is the floor itself um i'm not really sure what else they could have used but i'm assuming they're trying to keep the weight down so they used this some kind of plastic polyurethane whatever um so I'm interested to see how this holds up over the course of this 18, 24 month trip. Uh, so far, so good. Um, the other negatives are uh, the zippers themselves. Um, I, I wish I wish they would have uh, used a heavier duty or zipper. Uh, these things are already giving us problems. Uh, I've been putting zipper conditioner on them, but they're already getting where they don't zip up really good um, they get stuck um, so hopefully they don't break um, also velcro um, we're skydivers we hate velcro I think velcro is horrible it doesn't last it, 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 it just collects dirt um, I wish they would have used snaps instead of uh, the velcro because I'm just not sure how long this is gonna last um, but they got Velcro there, they got Velcro up here. Um, not a big fan, uh, but it's working for now. Uh, the other negative is for a $700 trailer, you think that 
they would make panels that you could zip to make it uh, waterproof. Now you can buy a little thing that goes over the top of this to make it completely waterproof, but for $700, uh, you think that the trailer would already do that. So Aurora's been soaking wet every day um, because of the rain and snow, unfortunately. So that, that's one thing that we, we definitely have not, not enjoyed for the price point. Um, the other negatives, um, I wish these loops on top were just a little bit bigger. I can barely get my fingers through them, so like attaching anything to it is almost impossible. Um, these little things that you hook, the little clips that you hook to keep this rolled up, that was a task for me to get done. I got big hands. Uh, maybe other people don't have so much of a problem, but not a big fan of that. Um, also, on the back of the buggy, if you notice, the material here doesn't quite fit. I keep pulling, I keep pulling the material up to get over so it stays up and over that edge but when I do that it comes off this side vice versa um, these are huge leak areas when it's raining on the side so so the, the cover itself doesn't fit as nicely uh, as uh, as I ch uh, wish it would so uh, so that's another negative um, so now let's get to the positives of the trailer uh, and it does have a lot of positives so Oh, sorry, let's get back. Um, one more negative. Um, the way this trailer collapses, you have this little latch here. Uh, it's a little plastic latch. You pull the little yellow handle here and it releases this little plastic thing so it will collapse down. I'm not gonna collapse it down right now, but that's what it's for. Uh, we've already broken one. Um, we put it together, never took it back down, and this is the remnants of the old latch. Okay, so um, $700, you get a little plastic piece. Maybe they should make this aluminum so it won't rust and there's no chance of breaking. We literally did nothing, just vibration of the roads broke that off. And if this breaks, the only way that this will stay together is zip tying or tying this. Uh, they told me at Burley in an email, which I can share with anyone that's interested, that this would still work. This doesn't work uh, if this thing is broke. So, um, just so you know, that's what you get. Okay, now onto the positives though. So, positives is that Burley did overnight. It took a little convincing, but I called Burley when we got to Fairbanks and begged them, please overnight this latch to me. So they did. They overnight a new latch to me to Fairbanks. Uh, so I'm super stoked about that. Um, so customer service has been fantastic for about a, six weeks. We've been dealing with them off and on, just different questions and whatnot. So super super stoked that uh they did that for us uh, and sent us a new latch um the other positive about this is much as i don't like the velcro and the zippers these are huge openings huge openings for for dogs uh you can actually take this thing completely off if you want to again i'm not going to take it off it's very breathable uh, again we have a big gray wolf malamute dog and and she is loving riding in this uh, the other the other side if you look at the back this is a huge opening for your dog to get in so so it's it's not like some trailers where it has like a little doggy door that they squeeze through this thing actually opens up and she can walk right into it and um, she can actually turn around and get out of this thing too like she doesn't have to back out and she's the size of a great day so um, so that's also a positive it is nice that it does have the handlebar where you can push as a stroller. You can uh, you can put the flag on either side. It has these little loops here. I'm just using it to hook extra tail lights to, so people can see. So it's uh, so that's what I'm using it for. I'm not really sure what the other purpose is uh, for it. 
but uh, that's what I'm using it. Um, you can roll this up uh, so, so you can have it open. You have two options where you can zip this all the way down. And then again, pull these little things. I keep mine closed just because my dog, she would rather have it closed. So, again, as I said, they have places to attach the rain cover, uh, which we don't have. Um, there's this little pocket here. I guess if you want to put treats in or, I don't know, a tool or oil or something like that, uh, you can use it for. We haven't used it because, again, uh, we're not really sure how well this is going to hold up because we are at the 100 pounds with our dog. Um, this is the little brake I was telling you about. So you basically, all you do is flip it the other way and, and she's locked in. So that's, that's super cool. Uh, and it and it locks up both sides. So uh, I, I do like that feature. Also, instead of going with a uh, the little release like some of the other trailers, it's a little quick release. You just push in the button, you pull off the tire wheel and put it back on. So, so that's super cool as well. It came with the 20 inch wheels. Um, it's a complete aluminum frame. So it, it definitely keeps the weight down. Uh, it's 33, 34 pounds. It tracks really, really well behind us. So we haven't had issues with tracking. Um, like I said, you can change the handle to either side, I guess depending on your, your bike setup. Um, when it folds down, it's it folds down pretty good, about yay high. I'm not gonna fold it down again. I don't wanna mess with that. But you guys can see on Burley how it folds down. They have a really nice uh, review. But overall, we're, we're super, super happy with the trailer. We just wish that for $700, um, some other features would have been added. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's worked for 500 miles. So we'll see. Uh, we ho hope to stop at Burley and, and kind of let them look at the trailer when we get there. But again, the customer service has been spot on for us. Everybody we've talked to has been super helpful. Uh, and and they've, they've been pretty knowledgeable as well. So, so we're super happy with Burley. Again, we're happy with the trailer. The other trailer we have, we'll do another review on. That's the Burley Nomad. Uh, but today, this was the uh, Burley Ranger XL. Uh, and again, they do make a... Uh, just a regular Ranger large uh, that holds 75 pounds. So we'll have a link for this in the description. that will take you over to it. But uh, thank you guys. And we'll have more gear reviews on everything we're using for this trip and uh, our thoughts and opinions on it. So hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, if you did, please like, subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys again. Thank you.